The Treasure Hunt by Lacey Page One day in Hawaii, a little mouse woke up. He was white and had pink ears and a black nose and a pink tail. His name was Chester. He saw that there was no more cheese and corn for his family to eat, so he hopped in his little nut boat and sailed to another island. This island had bright green trees and beautiful sparkling water. It felt like spring. Chester noticed a treasure chest guarded by a red fox. The fox chased after the little mouse. Chester hopped in his little nutshell boat and quickly sailed back to his island where his family was waiting for him. He told his family, get all the mice we have in our little town. Tell them to come to our house and I will tell them what we are going to do. So they did. He returned back to the treasure island, bringing his little mouse army with him. There were 42 mice in the army, including Chester. They all ran to the fox and chased him away from the treasure chest. Chester grabbed a stick. Then they all hopped on top of each other to make a tower of mice. Chester was at the very top. He hopped onto the keyhole, and since the fox had the key, he used his stick to open the treasure chest. Inside, he found all the cheese and corn. There was so much food for the mouse army that they had to go look for an acorn tree to make more nut boats to carry all the cheese and corn back home. They left the treasure chest and found some weeds and grass. They tied them together to make a strong rope to keep all their boats together while they sailed back to their little town. After they found their new nut boats and had tied them together, they all scurried back to the treasure chest and piled back up. One at a time, they hopped in the treasure chest and threw the cheese and corn out of the treasure chest. While they were doing that, a tiger came up and stole their nut boats, cheese, and corn. Since they were still getting all the cheese and corn out of the treasure chest when the tiger came, they still had some left to take home. They kept throwing it onto the beach. Chester looked at his watch and saw that it was almost time for dinner. He told his mouse army what time it was. He told them that they needed to keep finding cheese and corn and find more nut boats. They scurried back into the forest and found more nut boats. They carried them back to where their cheese and corn was. They hopped in their boats and sailed peacefully back to their mouse city. Then they took all their cheese and corn and carried it to their homes. They carried it to their table and ate dinner. The end.